Hey Nuggets, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be showing you how to do basic baby hairs on Ibis Paint. So I'm going to be using new brushes I imported on Ibis Paint and if you don't know how to import brushes I have a short video on it. I'll have it like a card up here right now. The brushes that I use, I'm going to put a link to them in the description. So you can import them on Ibis Paint as well. Some of them are free, like you don't have to play an ad to use them. Like these are the, the brushes I imported. You can see that you need to use an ad for it. And then only like two that I imported are actually free to use. And by the way, I know a lot of you are going to ask me about my mannequin. I'm going to actually give my mannequin away. I will put a link in the description so you can get my mannequin yeah just for practice like for beginners don't use it to make wigs and then sell it because then it the way it looks might not be accurate when you put it on your avatar's head so don't use it for that just use it to practice on it and then when you feel like you got good then just do it do the actual version of what you just practiced on your avatar's head so then you know it looks accurate but you can use the mannequin to show off that good version of your wig or whatever you're selling with that needs a mannequin if you get what i mean but anyway let me get to the actual tutorial because i hate long intros make sure you have a new layer in my older tutorials people were saying like it erased with it blah 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 you need to always make sure that you have a new layer and i'm using black of course and now the brush i'm actually going to be using i'm trying to make i'm trying to re-import my uh, my mannequin in because it's too small so then the brushes might look blurry if the mannequin's too small so i'm gonna re-put it in the app okay that's way better I actually forgot which brush I practiced on for the baby hairs because I did this like last week. I'm using this brush right here, it says hair 12 on it. But for the base, you start off the baby hairs. I'm going to use this brush that just says hair base. There's another one right here so yeah make sure you have a new layer and start doing the baby hairs right the baby hairs i am trying to achieve is the one in the picture right here you can't see it because it's not clear enough i don't know what's going on with ibis paint when you resize stuff why it looks all pixelized but i think it depends on how big your canvas is and stuff but when i meant basic baby hairs this is what I mean just so you don't have to focus on cleaning up every time outside of the mannequin just use the clipping mask at the bottom I say this in every tutorial when I need to use it anyway, but yeah, it's literally the best thing ever. And all these brushes that I got, I haven't actually fully used them yet. Now I am going to duplicate this layer and I'm going to flip it and then keep going The part is very ugly but what's whatever. I'm gonna just try 
and get it to the center with the liquefying tool by moving it like that okay that looks kind of better now we can actually start doing the baby hairs now that we have a base make sure that is a clipping mask and go back to the brush i talked about called hair 12 and also make sure the opacity is low like at 70 percent because baby hairs are not supposed to be like really dark they're supposed to like go light at the front and then gradually get dark to the base of the hair so i like to always start from the side So I'm going back and forth between the base because obviously there needs to be like a good ombre and look like scalp and not be like, you know, ew, not be looking bad like that. Okay, so the, my eraser is on an airbrush so I can just create a fade when I'm doing this. I'm just doing one side for now. And just like in Procreate when I did a, the baby hair tutorial on there, I used the liquefying tool to stretch. Just gonna move it a bit from the center to make room for the baby hair in the middle. Then you can also make use the same brush to create little strands of hair going in like that. I hope I'm not being confusing. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. And then just create another like this. And then this part is easy, which is the sideburns. Just do that. Leave some longer hair out, then use the liquefying tool again. And just keep turning it like that until you, you can notice it swirling around. Then when you can't anymore because obviously like it's moving the whole thing, do it yourself like that and boom, you've done one side. It's, it looks kind of ugly but you get the point. Now I'm going to go back on the base again to create another fade. So it blends in with the baby hairs. And if you wanted to, you could just duplicate 
the way the baby heads look on this side. And then use the liquefying tool and just uh, make it match as much as you can. I guess I might not be doing baby hairs in the front anyway because I don't know how I'm going to make it fit. Merge the layers down. Since I, uh, since I am trying to make this as easy as possible because it's actually not that difficult to do baby hairs like this. Let me not like try to recreate a different style on the other side so as a beginner you would just want to duplicate the other side and just move on with it whatever hairstyle that you're doing anyway that does not look the best but if i was to put this on one of my avatar's heads it's gonna be crazy so yeah like i said just use this mannequin for practice any real good versions you want to do just do it on your avatar because you can see how far the the baby hairs are on the forehead you can't really tell on a mannequin the mannequin is basically just to use it for show on what you did so but this is basically it for my tutorial i'm not trying to make everything so perfect because this is just practice and i never actually used this brush but it looked pretty accurate to how i do baby hairs on procreate and that's why i'm loving it to be honest because if i did this with ibis paint default brushes it's gonna be awful like i mean i tried to use this fan brush to do baby hairs in previous tutorials what the hell is going on with my ipad but yeah i was really trying to use a fan brush to do baby hairs like look at that nah no, nah, no i don't even want to get into that just embarrassing and also even though the baby hairs don't look similar to the picture it's just a reference to how you kind of want it to look and it's the same thing with like my baby hairs that i'm selling on instagram if you're interested there's always a link down in the description so you can have a look at it but yeah i use references and they don't always come out looking the same just like i did in my last video doing sketches on a from a reference it doesn't look exactly the same anyways i feel like i've been talking way too long for my intro and outro so i'm just gonna keep it short so anyways if you like this video please like it and let me know any questions that you have i always reply to them and if you're new to this channel please subscribe for more tutorials and i'll see you in my next video